Maybe this battle is very, very funny. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> Sit down, let's go. Hold it up, And what are you doing here, Nana? Wrong question. The right question is, what are you doing with this idiot? I hope you are not in any way referring to me. Look, there's only one idiot in this whole village that returned from the city with chicken changes to from his master. Oh, the biker, clothes, and came back to this village to deceive and snatch people's girlfriends. And whose girlfriend did he snatch? I hope you're not your friend, because I'm not your girlfriend. Oh, you know one thing, you are a very funny boy. At least I have a master I can steal from. And very good people in my life that can borrow me cars and clothes. So you tell me, what can you offer? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sweetie, sit down and let's go before this stupid boy infects us with poverty that wants in their family. Maybe you think I came here to talk. Now will you step away from that car and follow me right now? How's it wrong with this? Sweetie, just give me space. If you don't live here right now, you won't like what I will do to you. You are an idiot. A thick headed moron! Oh! Now you listen to me. Ross is the woman I want to marry. And if I hear anytime you dare come close an inch, I will arrest you and make sure you die in detention. First blood and the battle line is drawn. You have no idea what is coming after you. Don't come to the village from the city and begin oppressing people unnecessarily. Collecting their girlfriends and fighting them. Even if you want to, you must find out whom you are dealing with. Unfortunately, you fail to check. You continue doing your own thing in a funky way and feeling like a big boy. Ato, the end has come for you for taking my woman and daring to lay your filthy hands on me. This is the hour to die. Yes, this is the hour to die. This is the hour for you to die! Yes, Atu! Die! <laughs> Let him come out and continue with my woman. Stupid boy! This is just the beginning. We are going to do more evil in this land. Whoever stands on our way, dies! Straight away! Rest in peace, Atu. of this feels good. Let them cry the more. I can assure them, more families are going to die. Steve, 
I feel like doing something. What? Falling back to your advice. You always agitated that I use my magical powers to tie Rose down. I think I am ready to do that now. That's my guy. This you should have done since. But well, no time is late. Right now, call her from the Garden of Mourners. Rose! I command you to leave that morning home and come to me right now! Yes, baby. I'm right here. Come to me. Come! Come! She's all yours. Do with her whatever you wish. Be rest assured I will do as it please, my brother. It's so impressive the way the mystical power of love works. There's nothing it can do to any woman. No matter how stubborn she thinks she is. Enjoy a woman, bro. Enjoy her uncontested. <laughs> We lost two of our students today again. Oh, wow. Who are they and what happened to them? Or uh, is it another cult clash? It's Jerry and Fred, his friend. I was coming back when I saw a crowd of students gathered in their house. They died mysteriously with parts of their body scattered all over. What kind of death is this? A question everyone is asking. Wow. Um, I'm running late for my afternoon lecture, so um, I'll see you when I get back. Okay. I know you don't like Jerry, but that does not stop you from being part of the candle nights to honor him and his departed friend. Um, until then, or it's now. Thank you. I'll see you later, okay? That's just stop coming to our students. That's enough. Oh my goodness. I am going to be the first mathematician to conquer the sun. It is very, very easy. I repeat, it is very, very easy. It's all about applying the law of geometry. That is application, connection, and integration. Just like the Pythagoras theorem. We say that L square plus y square. He's a goddess Z square. Who else can prove it other than me? Me, Dr. Hasaba of the Nile University. Nile University, Oxford, MBBS, PhD. Now, S square plus Y square is equal to Z square. That is the answer. Look at it. You can see it very well. It's a full circle 360 degree. I am going to conquer the sun by using a special plastic called Thermoplastic. It is made of dinosaurs' eggs, which takes us into paleontology. Yes, if you read the book from the Triassic, 350 million years ago, yes, ago, yes, ago, first and foremost, let me take my refreshment. Hey, hey, come with me, class. Oh, hey, yeah, I have seen it. I have seen it. Jurassic time, that is 190 million years ago. Then we come to Holocene, Oligocene, 35.5 million years ago, when the earth 
was still called a panda. That is when dinosaurs live. I was in existence then. Eureka! 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 I've seen it. I have seen it. So that Dr. Samantha, we all know, now a madman roaming the school? What a wicked society we live in! People are so wicked that they treat their fellow human beings as if they are animals! Whoever thought this would never have peace. What? You know, sometimes, out of sheer sympathy, we analyze issues wrongly, so... Meaning? Never mind. But you know, there is this saying, when the wood insect, gathers the firewood on his herd. It carries them. I still don't follow. And you will never because we operate on two different frequencies. Maybe you are the sweetest thing that has ever happened to me. I can't have enough of you. I know, baby. I'm enjoying you beyond explanation. <laughs> Will you marry me? So that this fun and companion can continue forever and ever? I will. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll be with you soon. I have to take something from the living room, okay? How are you? I want you every minute, every second. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Okay? Not so fast. Give me a quick kiss. <sighs> Don't keep too long. I'm already feeling horny. Okay. <sighs> Charlie, you the chop. You know they call me, sir. The man from the Hollywood. Mm. <laughs> indeed, indeed, man, indeed. Charlie, you need more food and drinks, though, mm. because you've been working the whole day. Charlie, how did you enjoy the whole thing? Guy, don't imagine it. See, Rose has become something else. Ordinarily, she's a sex machine coupled with the fact that she's not with her right senses, but she's working under the influence of mystical powers. She wants sex every second and wants me to be inside her every moment. Ah, but isn't it what you've wanted all this while? No, not as much as this. That is why I always avoided the use of mystical powers on her. You see, I wanted her on her own free will. Ah, but you, Pa, it was impossible. If you had not killed her too, they'll be planning their wedding by now. But Charlie, my guy, how long do you intend to keep her? I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. We'll see you, lover boy. <laughs> Charlie, the hunger. The some day the kitchen. Mm. Charlie, you know what? I have to go back inside. You have to go. I have to work. You go. I have to work. Make you go. I have to work. Make you go. Charlie, first give you. Never go, Charlie. You cannot finish the chore. Some day the kitchen. So much making the sunny boy. See this boy. Use Mr. Cowboy to do you, you, you the flex. See how they enjoy him. What happened to Rose? I don't understand what you mean, Mother. You didn't see how strange she left us during your brother's funeral. <laughs> mother, I did. And since then, I haven't seen nor heard from her. I wonder what all this is about. <clears throat> hope all is well. I hope so too, Mother. It is very unlike Rose to stay away from me for two days. Especially during this time that my family is mourning. Anyways, I will go to her house to check on her. 
When you say her, tell her I want to talk to her. All right, mother. Let me just drop this thing. Sir. Thank you. If you need anything. Hmm. A very wicked land we live, and strange things happening every day. I know my son didn't die a natural death. Hmm. But whoever is responsible or have hands in his death will also die. I know the gods of our land will rise in vengeance for us. Fine, father. And your mother and father? They are all fine, father. Yes, yes. And you? Oh, okay. I was only coming to your place to check on Rose. Why? Doesn't she want to come home again? Uh, father, I was just coming to your house. You mean she's not at home? Because she's not in my house. You mean Rose is not in your place? No, she's not, father. Where will she be? I thought she stayed back to sympathize with you people after the funeral. No, father, she didn't. I, I was even coming to your house to check on her and know why I haven't seen or heard from her. Because Rose left my house during the funeral and since then nobody has seen or heard from her. So what is the meaning of this? Where is Rose? She, she doesn't stay out except to be in your place. That, that is what I thought. I, I'm as shocked as you are, father. How many rules that I know will not stay one day without calling or, 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 or checking up on me? And no, I'm sorry. Okay, let me try her number and see. There's something wrong. For the worst of it is that her phone is switched off. That is the situation. I don't just... I'm, so what am I to believe now that my daughter has been kidnapped or, or what? <laughs> of Rose, Elder Zugai's daughter. Father, Father, this is the strangest thing I have witnessed this year. During Brother Atul's funeral, she just stood up and walked out of the compound. Well, I even thought she was going to ease herself only to realize that I haven't seen or heard from her for two whole days. Two days, Father. I was even angry with her for staying away from our family during such a morning period. Then I decided to go to her house to check on her. On my way to her house, I ran into her father, who said he was also coming to our house. He said he hadn't seen or heard from her for two days as well. And he believed that she was staying over at our place. Father, I do not understand any of this. What has happened to her? Where could she be? We never heard of kidnapping or people suddenly disappearing in our land. Oh, is it a new style designed by these evil people? <sighs> Father, please go ahead and eat your food. I'll be inside if you leave me. You know what? I'm gonna feed you, yeah? Thank you. You know, I've never enjoyed myself like this before. You're the perfect man in everything. Are you sure? Sure, I can swear to it. Maybe I think you should hasten the traditional marriage rite so that I can be formally called your wife. I can't wait, you know. Wow. 
This is the most wonderful thing I've heard this year. See the cops. Give her a befitting barrier. Cause of our land. What is happening to our community? How can a young daughter of the land disappear without a trace? It's really terrible and sad. But we can question the wisdom of the gods. They will know what is happening to our land. My brother. Accept our heartfelt sympathy. We pray that our children bury us, not us burying them. But if the gods profess it that way, then who are we to question the gods? No, no, no. I don't I don't she is dead. Can't I see the body? Pay my last respect. And committed to Mother F. Uh, I'm very sorry, my brother. For this problem to be happening to your family at this particular time. But as we always say, the God knows the best. But I still believe she's not dead. She's not dead. If then she's not dead, where is she? Time to go, bitch. I have had enough of you. Now get up and get out. Now! I guess I've achieved my aim. So much we in us and evil In this land which we live The evil ones are everywhere Looking for who to destroy our lands have been corrupted, there's no longer no war. So much sadness in our land, for the sake of the vulture. There's so much wickedness and evil, in this land which we live. The evil ones are everywhere, looking for who to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted, there's no longer no war. There's so much sadness in our land, for the sake of the vulture. Where am I coming from? Is it you? It's me, Father. What do you mean by if it's my ghost? So, where have you been? Where have I been? How? I just walked into the compound. You, 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 you walked into the compound? Y yes. But where have you been? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? You walked out uh, uh, quietly from Elder Mensah's house during Ato's funeral. And nobody has seen or heard anything from you since then. And, and, and now... Father, you mean I left Ato's funeral? Uh, yes! Has he been buried? Huh? My Ato. My enemies. Father... I loved him. We were planning to get married. How 
can you say that you do not know what happened? I swear I don't. Everything my father was saying to me seemed so strange. Rose, how can you explain to anyone that you walked away like someone who was going to ease herself during my brother's funeral? Only to return after four days. Claiming that you do not know where you have been or remembered what's what have happened within these four days. If I can lie to anyone, will I lie to you, Didi? My bestie. I don't know anything. I remember being at the funeral. But I can't remember leaving to go anywhere. What confuses me the most is that I didn't even witness Ato's internment. This is just so confusing beyond my comprehension. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Rose, Rose. Rose, you're beginning to confuse me even more. So what happened? If you're saying that you do not remember anything, then does it mean that you were under some kind of mystical charms? Or maybe you were hypnotized? I believe my daughter was under some kind of mystical influence. I have reason to suspect that she was hypnotized. Obviously, that means no one is safe in this land anymore. If our daughters can be taken away mystically and be brought back in 40s, only the girls can tell what exactly was done to her. If she can't remember anything that happened to her while she was away, I'm so scared of the new style of these satanic agents. That means no lady is safe here anymore. Oh. They can choose anybody, mystically take away from their people, and bring her back after they've had a feel of her. Uh, 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 uh. If our land has gotten to this level, then we have reached our crashing point. We are obviously on the way to destruction. Now, first things first. Send your doctor to the community chief priest for cleansing. If in case they might have left any charms in here. The very question I want answered first is who did this to my daughter? If I can get hold of that person. It is very obvious that whatever we do or where we take Lucky to, his madness will remain incurable. Yes, but we still need a village chief. Because we can't continue staying in this village, in this community without a head. We need somebody to do something about this, our everyday companion issues. I have an idea. Why don't we pick Engineer Koyo? After all, he was one of the nominees for the position of a community head. Before we picked Lucky. Hmm. 
Yes, I quite agree with you. That is what we shall do. But we need to convey the meeting of others. From there, we can be able to iron all this thing out. All right. Sorry for coming late. You know, I went to Kanishi to buy something. That's the reason why. Yeah, it's okay. Although we haven't said much, we are only here to choose our new chief sense. Lucky is smart. Okay, that's good. It means that our minds are reasoning together. But I'm here to declare my intentions. Well, we have decided to pick your brother, Engineer Kuyu, as the new community here. Huh? You appointed who? For, 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 for what reason? Yes, we have appointed Engineer Kojo, your younger brother, as our new community chief. He has displayed a high level of integrity, love and concern for his people and the entire community. That is why we have appointed him. This is the reason why I always complain of you three elders. This is the reason why. So the three of you took such a decision, sensitive one of this nature, and you people did not consult me. Why? That is why we are here. To solve everything once and for all. Because we can no longer uh, continue to stay in a village that, 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 that everything is getting decayed. Oh, so he is the best person to fix whatever is decaying in this our little community. Good job of yesterday. Yes. yes. He has been too good to this community. He has been helping the poor and single-handedly providing essential social amenities to this community. He feels the pain of his people and knows how and when to help them. What more can we ask for? Aren't nonsense. Aren't nonsense. That small boy who cannot even handle his hurdles and the huge tax of ruling such a stubborn community of ours. You need a man of military strength, a man with a lion heart, a brave man, a man with timber and caliber. That's the kind of person we need. Not that stupid boy who just went to the city and made some money and then spread it among you, the elders, to become the head. Stop that, Bami! Stop calling us names. Kudu did not bribe anybody. We picked him because of his good deeds in this community. That is it. I said, no, it can't be. So, who do you suggest? That is a very wonderful question I was expecting you to ask. When I was coming to this meeting, I was very, very, very happy to come and declare my interest of becoming a community chief. Impossible. You, what? You, to be a community chief? Yeah. Never. Never, never, over my dead body. Quarry, Quarry, how could you have such a, a lofty idea of becoming the community chief? It can never materialize. What did you say? It can never materialize. Oh, then we shall see. Bear it in mind, if I don't become the community chief, nobody. What happened my husband? How did the meeting go? Oh, the meeting didn't go well at all. Can you imagine that those uncivilized and idiotic elders have the cast to tell me that they have picked Kojo as the, as the community chief? What? Uncle Kojo? Yes, 
Kojo of yesterday contesting for a position that I have nurtured for this long. That is impossible, Father. Uncle Kojo cannot contest with you. Not in this village. Not when we're still alive. Never. This cannot happen. Uncle Kojo may be rich or anything, but he cannot contest the position of the chief of this community against you for any reason. Impossible. Impossible, Father. You fight this out. You're the most suitable person for this position. But has he been told and he has accepted? Would that idiot ever say no? He has all the praises of the people. And I hear he has helped the entire community by providing social amenities single-handedly. And so what? Is it the first to be rich? Or the first to have helped the people? Look, my husband, this Kojo boy must not succeed in this. Yes, father. He should not be allowed. Yes, we will never allow him to do this. Never! Kojo of yesterday. First, he refused to join in worshipping the gods handed over to us by our fathers and our ancestors. He calls me and my household idol worshippers. He referred to us as people living in darkness. I tolerated all the insults and allowed him to be. Every now and then he comes here and throws money around in the name of helping the people. Now he has won the love, the applause, praises and admiration of the whole community to a point of being picked as a new community chief. A position I have nurtured and holds in high esteem. No, it will not happen. This is the point where I may have to stink him. Stink him in a way that he will have nothing anymore to attract the love, applause and admiration of the people. Kojo, you have dared me enough. And this is the time to make you silent. My husband, you are still awake. Don't tell me it is this Kojo's thing that is making you stay awake. Listen, I cannot fold my arms and watch Kojo become the new community chief. If that happens, I will die a disgraceful death. That will never happen. Look, my husband, you have all it takes to stop him or anybody else. You are the community chief and there is nothing anyone else can do about it. Please, the night is very, very long. Let's go back to sleep. This is a moment of critical decision-making. So I want us to be very objective so as to make the right decision. We are talking about a business deal that is worth $500 million. That's a lot of money. A lot of money that could make us very rich and also increase the capital base of our company. Sir, the problem here now is how are we going to raise the first 10 million? Nobody will agree to lend us this kind of money now. Exactly, sir. That's the biggest problem. And that is why I called you people here. I could have single handedly made a decision, being the sole owner of this company, but I, I thought that two good heads, as they say, are always better than one. There is a bank who has agreed to give us all the capital we need for this mouth-watering deal. Wow, that's good. that's good. So, how do we raise the collateral to get a loan from the bank? Uh, they have also agreed to accept the company's assets as collateral. What? The company? I know, I know, I know. That is too much to give. Aren't you taking a risk by doing that? Look, guys, uh, that is why I need your candid opinion on this. I'm about to make the most critical decision in my entire life. A decision that if it fails, I'm doomed. And I'm going to go back to square one. This company 
It's a business empire that I've built with every single thing I've labored for for the past 10 years and more. So it's very important to me. But uh, this business deal is worth over $500 million. And if we execute it very well, which I know we can, it's going to make us very rich. It's going to change your entire face of this company. Sir, this is a hard one. We really need to be very careful in doing this. Yes, we know the business we are looking at is worth $500 million. But we must ask ourselves these questions. What if it fails? What happens? Honey, I'm in total disagreement with you to use your company you've labored for for so many years as a collateral to the bank for this new business you're talking about. My love, what problem do you have with it? Everything is my problem. Everything, honey. For goodness sake, you've labored for 10 years to build this company to the reputable state it is today. And you want to give it to the bank as a collateral to collect a loan? Come on! For goodness sake. Tell me, have you ever thought about if the business fails, what would become of you, your wife, and your kids? I really don't understand. Why is everyone talking about what if the business fails? Why is nobody saying what if it succeeds? Do you know how much we're talking about here? We're talking about a business that is worth $500 million. Honey, do you know what that money can do for us, this family, and even the business we're talking about? Come on. Honey, I am not in agreement with what you're saying. How would you want to use your business as a collateral to collect money for one business that you have no idea about? Come on. Think about it. Think properly about it. I'm not happy about this, okay? Honestly. Hey, baby, baby. Hey, baby, baby. Yeah. Mm. Hey, baby, baby. Yeah. A child who says we don't allow the mother to sleep will know no sleep. A man who brings home firewood infected with insects invites lizards for lunch. Kojo, this is the end for you. We have tolerated you enough, taking all your insults. You have reduced us and make us less important to the people because you have money and you throw it out foolishly making himself look like the richest man on earth and every other person poor and worthless. Yes, we must put an end to his rich madness. Kojo, this is the time to die. First, the great man that you are must be taken from you. You have to be reduced to zero and die mysteriously. Great Shakarakiki, the vulture of horror, must strike now! Kojo! Die now! Die! Die! Almost, and yeah. they just treated us so Auntie, wow. 
Mm. My husband's secretary. Oh, okay. What could she possibly want me? Hello, Sylvia. What? Wait, 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 wait. Slow, slow down! What? Okay, okay, I'll be right there. What is it? I hope all is alright. Kujo collapsed in the office and was rushed to the hospital. Christ, what happened to him? Let's go and find ah. out. to my husband. I went to his office to give him some files, only to find out he was unconscious. So I called Mr. Ray and Mr. James who helped me bring him here. Oh my God, please let nothing happen to my husband. He's all I have. It's okay, Lisa. You'll be fine. At least he's at the hospital and the medical doctors are here to take care of him. You'll be fine, okay? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yeah, the doctor said he's going to be fine. Is he getting any better? I'm sorry, madam. This case is the same way. Please see me outside. Right behind you. 50. Um, did he open his eyes so long for now? Yeah. Just as the doctor said. He didn't even say anything. Nothing. I don't know. The worst part is that he's not even eating. Everything is just the same. You have to attend to him. Oh, please go look after the patient. I will be with you. I want to talk to Mrs. Kojo. Okay. Doctor, sincerely, will my husband ever get well? Well, that's why I was come and see me, Mrs. Kojo. Your husband's case is more complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? You see, he's um he has a high blood pressure, he's diabetic, and he's there's a trace of leukemia in his blood system. What on earth are you talking about, doctor? Before my husband collapsed that morning, three days ago in his office, he was absolutely fine and okay. He left home very healthy and strong. So where from this diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever you said is in his blood system? Well, that's why I said this case is becoming more complicated. Although we're keeping a very close eyes on him. You see, there seems to be some other diseases in his blood system. But like I said, I keep a very close eye on him. God. This is becoming more complicated than I thought. If all of this was in him, and even the ones you are yet to discover, why hasn't anything shown until now? The answer is the reason why he has remained unconscious for the past three days since we brought him here. I've tried all we can to revive him all to no avail. Do whatever you can to revive my husband. He's all I got. Please. It's alright, Mrs. Kojo. Keep trying. He may have the sickness and not for once complain of fever or headache or something. <laughs> That's the same question I asked the doctor. My husband who left home that morning couldn't have had all that in him. He was sound and healthy that day. Look, Shanta, I am so worried and confused. This is the fifth day, and he still remained the same way. He's been fed through for it all this while. 
How efficient is the doctor? Don't you think you need to transfer your husband to a better hospital? He's been our family doctor over the years. The doctor and I and Kujo have been friends for a very long time. Him and Kujo went to the same school. But there's nothing that has indicated that he's incompetent or unprofessional. Well, I just feel like something needs to be done urgently. How can a man be in the state of coma for five days and be feeling through food? Ask again. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Auntie. Afternoon, my kids. How are you? They are fine, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Auntie, they are fine. How is Kiki and Nene and friends? They are fine. They are so few. Mm -hmm. Auntie, please, when next you are coming, please come along with them. Oh, it's not a promise, but I will try, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mommy, how is Daddy? You've been to the hospital to see him twice and he's still the same way. He'll be fine, okay? He'll soon come home, trust me. We miss him so much. And he misses you too, my boo-boo. Come here. <laughs> You'll be here, okay? Once we have all measures put into place, we execute the project. Okay. And I know you soon change your mundware and buy a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. it's not I know, I know. I'm, I'm really worried, you know. He's such a nice person. Exactly. But it could be fatigue. He worked overtime. After we close from work, he's here all night and working. Oh, okay. Rain is here. Hi, guys. Welcome back, Mr. Rain. So, how is Oga doing? Is he any better now? Ray, has he regained consciousness? After almost two weeks, what could possibly be the name of this kind of sickness? God, help your son. You know, the boss does not deserve to suffer under the yoke of any illness. You know, Mr. Kojo is so much of a nice person. Hello, guys. Something tells me boss's illness isn't ordinary. Maybe he's under some kind of spiritual attack. How could that be? Or God that wishes everyone well. I want the happiness of everyone. Serious? Who has he offended to attract the spiritual attack? Wait, 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 wait. Think of something different. I don't think it's spiritual. It could be fatigue or something. You guys don't understand. Jesus! This can't be true. Oh, this is going to be true. Oh, Mr. James, you need to see this. What is it? What? Jesus, they sent it to you? Yes, I just received it now. Hey! Oh. This, this may do. We are finished. James, what is happening here? I, I overheard you guys screaming from inside. Take a look at this. Look at it! This is not happening. No! Where did you get this from? I just received it right now. I printed it a few minutes ago. This spells doom for us. Oh, God. We are still in $500 million on this deal. And Oga even used the company as a contract to collect money from the bank. <sighs> and now this whole business is set to be fraud. No. Ha! This must be a joke. It must be a joke. Else, it's our end. We are all fucked. Finish! Going on. Your call scared me. I have to abandon everything I was doing to run down here. What is it? Chantel, you won't believe it. Kujo has a cancer of the lungs, a tumor in his lower abdomen, and also needs a kidney transplant. Only one person. Hey! 
Hey, 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 hey. But Christ the King, how can that be for just one man alone? Hey, Lisa, I have warned you against that uh, your family doctor about his authenticity. I have warned you. How can you say your husband develops uh, new sicknesses every day? If you go there tomorrow, he will say he has developed new diseases. What is happening? Eh? That is not even the issue. That is not even the issue, Chantel. Hey. The doctor said that we need $300,000. Hey! For his surgical operations and his kidney transplant only, guys. 300 watts, Lisa. This works. Could you use our company as a collateral to collect a loan from the bank? And just a few days ago, the bank came for the, the company. Hey! Hey! Lisa, how do we raise this kind of money in this uh, economic meltdown? Shut up, ask me. Hey! Ask hey. me the question again. Ah, God! It's okay, it's okay, my dear. It's okay. God knows everything. It's okay. I beg you, don't cry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So much we can do, sunny boy. In this land we really live, the evil ones are everywhere. You give power to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted. There's no long ago. So much I in our life for the sake of the vulture. So much we keep the sun evil. In this language, we really the evil ones are everywhere. Looking forward to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted. There's no long ago. So much I in our life for the sake of the vulture. Kiki, So, what happened at the shop today? <laughs> you needed to see. It's great Shakarapiki do his wonders. Yes. Oh, Shakarapiki is good. <laughs> oh, Shakarapiki is good. Redama! Great Shakarapiki! I am lost and confused. What do you mean our blood is outside? Great Shakarakiki. Yes. The girl you come a month ago is pregnant for you. Who is pregnant for me? Yes. And the almighty Shakarakiki demands that you sacrifice the girl and the baby in her womb. Really? The ultimate sacrifice is in a fortnight. Prepare for it. Okay, Father. So 
so much we can us any more And this one which we leave The evil ones are everywhere Looking forward to destroy Our lands have been corrupted There's no longer no more So much sadness in our life For the sake of the vulture There's so much we can us any more And this one which we leave The evil ones are everywhere Rebelle <laughs> Rose, your soul is demanded by the Supreme Master, the Great Shakarakiki. Come forth now! Kiki, you demanded that I sacrifice the girl and the baby in her womb. Here they are. Accept them and bless us. Even though he's recovered from his long unconsciousness, he hasn't said or recognized anyone. Hmm. This is really pathetic. So what are the doctors doing about his recent state? I really don't know. I need to talk to the doctor, I guess. Kojo! Shanta, please call the doctor. Okay. Kojo, Kojo, relax! What happened to him? Okay. Alright, I'll be coming in the next one. Let me see how he's doing. Okay. 
Um, the patient in WhatsApp, seven, how is he? He's okay, he's doing well. Okay. Give him the drugs immediately. I'll come and see him and... Okay. Doctor, what is it again? What is it? Mrs. Kojo, I am so surprised. I mean, after all these medical operations and the kidney transplant, his case has remained the same. As a matter of fact, he's gradually getting out of hand. So what do you suggest we do? Are we just going to sit down and watch him die? No. That's what I sent for you. I suggest we'll transfer him to Hormak Hospital in India. India? Yes. And how on earth do you expect me to raise that kind of money? Do you know that the $300,000 that I raised was from two houses and cars I had to also empty all my savings just to get it? The only property we have left is our house and the car I drive. If I sell it, where do we live and how do we survive? Unfortunately, his only hope of survival right now is being transferred to an Indian hospital. Well, I'm sorry that things have turned this way. Look, I understand how difficult and hard things are with you right now. Okay, you know what you do? Why don't you run around so how much you can raise? My hospital will make it up. The earlier the better. Thank you so much, Doctor. You've been really helpful. God bless you. Don't forget your husband, Mr. Kojo, has been a long old friend. A friend in need is a friend indeed. If I'm the one in this situation, you even do more for me. Come on. I like it. All right, madam. We have inspected everywhere and seen everything for ourselves. I think we are okay with whatever we've seen so far. So can we now make proceeds to our office so that we can give an official account to our superiors who will tell us how much they're willing to pay for this house? All right, you move, we are right behind you, okay? Okay, bye. Take care. I only pray that finally this house and this car are sold. The proceeds will be enough for the India hospital expenses, right? Exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. important this competition is to us, okay? So I want each and every one of you to put up your best in order to bring the crown to us, okay? So, let's see that we have- Girls, we can't continue doing this. The sponsors of this beauty pageant have pushed in enough money and they expect nothing but best. I would never forgive myself if that crown doesn't come to us here. Kofi, what are you doing? I'm bringing in a better girl to do this for us. We need someone such as natural beauty and charisma to grab that crown. What nonsense are you talking about, Kofi? What do you mean by that? So, we are not good enough. We are not good enough. And yet you came out of the best and That is what I am about to correct right now. Kofi, please! Oh, but listen, Kofi. Whether you like it or not, we are into this. And there's nothing you should. Or you want to stand for how dare you say that to me? What's the nonsense? Look, I am begging another girl to do this for us. All you just have to do is support and back her. No way. Nonsense. No way. If you ask me, this is the worst thing you have done. You spoiled everything. I spoiled nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm only bringing in something worth more than the money we have spent in this event so far. Look, if our school fails to grab this crown, the sponsors will hold me responsible. That is nonsense, Kofi. Absolute nonsense. You know, we need no girl from anywhere. All the girls in this competition have what it takes to win a contest. So what are you saying? Please don't be silly and let's do what we're supposed to do. Thank you. Come oh on. God, you know, damn. Mm, I'm out of here. 